everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here with Beautiful Beauty. Going to be doing a product review. Just going to be talking today about a super lovely bar of soap here. I'm a super lover of bar soaps, you guys. But sometimes, sometimes when you mention bar soap, it's like, eh. Ick, you know, not everybody loves bar soaps. And there's a good reason for that. Not all bar soaps are great. I only love bar soaps that are great bar soaps. I've done a lot of bar soap product reviews. How many times am I going to say bar soaps? I've done a lot of product reviews on bar soaps on my channel. But like I said, only the best of the best and the greatest bar soaps are the ones I love. So I do love this. Let me show you what the box looks like real quick. Okay, this is what the box looks like. This is the Schmitz brand. I have super been loving this brand lately. Um, I've been trying a lot of their bar soaps and their other products. I have never actually tried their deodorant. Let me know, have you tried their deodorant? Is it any good? I'd like to know. Um, I hear it is, but I haven't bought it yet. I like to buy the Schmitz products from Vitacast.com or I think LuckyVitamins.com is the other one I buy from, or is it SwansonsVitamins.com? See guys, I shop online so darn much, but I think it was Vitacast.com, I think. Okay, this formulation, I really love their unscented bar as well. Beautiful, beautiful soap. Now this formulation is the Rose uh, Plus Vanilla Natural Bar Soap, and this is for face and body. It says, with exfoliating vanilla bean, moisture-rich, detoxifying soap for face and body. I love to use the Schmidt bars on my face. I feel they are genteel enough uh, for my fragile face. I have dry, sensitive skin. I absolutely love this formulation. I love not only the fragrance of it, and usually um, I can only take the, the, the rose smelling facial products like rose petal or tea rose like smell i could usually only take them as small dosages this smells absolutely delicious though and i like the way it makes my skin feel i like the way it makes my face feel let me show you what it looks like it has really fine ex it really fine exfoliation properties if that makes sense uh, that acts as a physical exfoliant just I love it. It smells good. I love it. It doesn't strip my moisture barrier level of my face. It doesn't dry my skin out. It doesn't cause me tightness, redness, irritation, or anything like that. After I wash my face with it, I actually feel, um, I still feel moisture. You know what I mean? I still feel moisturized enough. Since I have dry, sensitive skin, I have to be very, very, very beyond, super careful what I use. Um, as far as soaps, I like to use this basically either with my hands, with a washcloth. I use my uh, manual e.l.f. facial scrub brush. I love that. Um, if I don't use that, I do use my Clarisonic with this or I use my Thorio. So I think all sources... Um, you know what I mean? Like, it, it just, it depends. If you like to wash your hands with your face, that's fine with your face. With your hands. If you like to wash your face with your hands, that's fine. But what I'm saying, I have used uh, my e.l.f. manual brush. I have used my Clarisonic. I have used my Foreo. I've used a hot washcloth. All methods seem to work well with this soap. Absolutely love it. What else can I say other than I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm pretty darn sure that Smith says cruelty-free, not test on animals. That's super important to me. I love this stuff. So if you have super dry, sensitive skin like I do, and you do like the smell of rose, go for it, you guys. You will love this. I love you. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I bought it from Vitacost.com. I will link it up in the down bar below. I love you guys. Bye, beauties.